fact of the matter is, Lies. this is a former president and a son that, number one, came extremely close to losing his life and losing his father. This is how they feel about it, and this is how everyone on the Democratic Party feels about it. So That's don't right. sit here and act oh, like holier than thou. Welcome back, and holy crap, this clip that I have for you today is exactly what I needed this morning. An actual ABC News political analyst and former Trump White House Chief of Staff, Renz Priebus, unloads on the former DNC chairwoman, the one that helped Hillary Clinton to cheat in a debate, for acting holier than now about political violence and rhetoric when they and the media have incited multiple attacks on Donald Trump. This is especially crazy because another Democrat Party operative, George Stephanopoulos, who used to work with Bill Clinton, starts demanding that he absolve the Democrats and the media for their rhetoric and inciting attacks against Donald Trump and his supporters. So go ahead and check this out, then I'll give you the rest of the story. Well, I got a thing. You cannot say that right. Joe Biden we won this election. Time. Joe Biden it's won the monologue. election. Then you should not. The show is not you a monologue, are not, No, no, but it is the not, of the matter it's not is, the lies. People have it's the floodgate of lies. Okay? And the fact of the matter is, lies. this is a former president and a son that, number one, came extremely close to losing his life and losing his father. Okay, he's been called a threat to democracy from the very beginning. They got rid of a sitting president to fulfill their message that he's a threat to democracy. And in order to save this country, they had a sitting president step down, put in a vice president in the summer. This is how they feel about it. And this is how everyone on the Democratic Party feels about it. So right, don't sit right. here and act oh, like holier than thou that somehow you, you have a the corner of lies. on this the message because you don't. And you don't. And that's why ask, you're not winning. Ms. That's Ruby. why Harris is behind and that's why she's, she's going not to behind. lose. Right. People aren't buying she's the not rhetoric. Very she's not okay, behind. People both, are not you, you buying both, the rhetoric. Why, We're not buying the lies. Why can't you simply say that blaming Democrats for the association? I would not blame Democrats. Just say it's wrong. I just said it, okay? But it's also wrong to paint the president of the United States, President Trump, as the, the threat president. to democracy that's going to end the United States of America. What does that do to people's heads when you do that? What, what does what, that do to, to millions, hundreds of millions of people in America? What does that it do has to legal effect, immigrants? Guys, what does it do up. to illegal immigrants when you know it you're lying? What effect. does it do to kids We're talking who are about trying to go to school? The president of the United States getting, practically getting killed. And okay? we, say, and we all topic. condemn that. You're, you're, you're hitting the 20 different topics. The Democrats at once. condemn that. And but the lies, the floodgate of lies must What lies? Stop. Like that President Trump's gonna monitor women's pregnancies? Oh well. Oh, that's Project 2025. It has nothing to do with President Trump. But you know what? It's a good talking point for the Democrats, so they keep saying it. They lie all the time. serious right now. The Democrats lie about literally everything from Russian collusion to very fine people to bloodbath, 51 intelligence experts, ICE facilities being concentration camps and executing Latinos. The list goes on and on, but it's different when they do it. It's wrong to blame Democrats and their media's rhetoric for inciting multiple assassination attempts against Donald Trump and his supporters that were so predictable that I've been predicting them going back to 2020 and before. Look, it's very simple. When you have every American institution institution giving legitimacy to the insane rhetoric that Donald Trump and his supporters are some sort of actual existential threat to the country that if elected will become a dictator and will end America. It shouldn't surprise anyone that eventually someone out there is going to think that they're a hero for taking violent action against Donald Trump and his supporters. What's even more absurd are these folks of all people saying that it's wrong to blame them for violence against their opponents. Uh, President Trump and his supporters have, have contributed to this violent rhetoric as well. Across social media, hate speech and anti-Semitism are rampant and on the rise. All against the backdrop of the ugliest political climate in modern times. At the center, an unapologetically incendiary president untrammeled by traditional norms of civility. He is responsible for fomenting and using rhetoric that causes people 
to feel like that is normalized. That doesn't mean we can hang a mass murder around his neck. So I want the but, rhetoric to be calm, but, but I don't think that the American viewers are looking at President Trump as a murderer. Well, well, we, we all agree. Nobody, we have, no one at this agree. table no said that. Not one no person. Well, he is responsible for fomenting a, and using rhetoric that causes people to feel like that is normalized. And no but one at this table agree. said no that. One not table. one person. <laughs> These folks are absolutely wild. And what's even crazier to me is that they've turned out to be everything that I've ever thought that they would become, which is just scary because taken to its conclusion, you can see where this leads. It leads to a one party authoritarian state where the Democrats political opponents have been outlawed. And I think even taking positions that oppose them could eventually land you in jail or worse. I don't know, am I crazy or am I on to something? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I do post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.